right, let's get into it, y'all. Um, Sean Diddy Combs accused of sexual harassment and assault by producer on his latest album, Rodney Lil Rod, which I don't know, why would you want your name to be Lil Rod? <laughs> Lil Rod Jones says his life has been detrimentally impacted since he worked with Comb, which I believe. I mean, the dude seems evil. We went over the stuff where he was with, uh, you know, he has he has a past with Usher with J-Beebs where things are getting a little creepy and he's putting it, he's pretty grabby about stuff. There's a video of uh, J-Beebs uh, looking like he's on his knees at a club in front of Diddy doing things and stuff. Like, it's very creepy. It's very, very creepy what this dude is a weirdo, okay? I think that we have enough people and enough accusations to say that, hey, Diddy did it, right? But... Of course, we do live in a free country where we have to prove in court that someone did or didn't do something. So if he did it, I hope it was <laughs> Dutchman coming in with a splash. Let's go. Um, Sean Diddy Combs was sued Monday in federal court by a producer on his most recent album who accuses the music mogul of sexually harassing, drugging, and threatening him over more than a year. The producer, Rodney Lilrod Jones, says in the lawsuit that he lived and traveled with Combs from September 2022 to November 2023, during which time he recorded hours of video and audio of Combs, his staff, and others engaging in serious illegal activity, quoted... Uh, among the allegations is that Combs forced Jones to procure sex workers and pressured him to engage in unwelcome sex acts with them and others that Combs gave laced alcoholic beverages to people who attended parties at his home. This sounds about right. This sounds about the, 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 the correct M.O. of Sean Diddy Combs. This man is... Uh, Again, there's tons of rumors about this dude. Hey, Monet, Monet, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate you. Uh, have a fresh ass work. No worries, Robbie. Thank you so much for the lurks, guys. Uh, the lawsuit includes what it says are screenshots. Oh, what it says. Law lawsuits includes what it says are. I see. What it says are green shots. We're going to start that sentence over, friends. <laughs> right on, right on. They, they, I keep getting older and they stay the same age. I need, I need to sample that. That's creepy there. That, that McConaughey, that line from Dazed and Confused. Is that though? Is that what it's called? Right on, right on. <laughs> <laughs> that dude's gross. All right. The suit filed, uh, wait a second. The lawsuit includes what it says are screenshots from gatherings hosted at Combs' home that included underage girls and sex workers, some of whom he said were provided drinks that had been laced with drugs. Um, oh, that's so gross. It's a horrible thing to do to people. Horrible thing to uh, have to experience. I, I mean, I've never had to deal with that. But, uh, you know, th these people in power, they tend to feel like they're untouchable, right? And when you think about how long Diddy has been allowed to abuse people and to get away with said abuses, abuses it, it's no wonder that he goes on and continues this, this, this cycle, right? Uh, and he just he's a billionaire now and he has all this power he killed tupac uh <laughs> he killed biggie uh no uh maybe i don't know but still it, he's gotten away with so much and he has so much money and he has so much power that he believes he could just do whatever he wants it's that whole like deranged king syndrome right and as 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 these people get older they tend to 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 lean into that psychopathy of living it's very very yeah for real it sounds like r kelly yo what about 
<laughs> Sounds like Yay Kelly. Uh, that's a quote from his song, by the way. The suit filed in U.S. District for the Southern District for the Southern District of New York also names Combs' adult son Justin, his chief of staff Christina Corum, Universal Music Group CEO Sir Lucian Grange. Sir, he got knighted. Hmm. And former Motown record CEO Ethiopia Habitarium as defendants. Jones says in the lawsuit that Grange Habitarium, Motown Records, Love Records, and Universal Music Group effectively, effectively worked together with Combs in a RICO enterprise that failed to adequately monitor, warn, or supervise the actions of Combs, his son, and his chief of staff. A RICO enterprise is any individuals or groups that act together to violate the Racketeering Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act. So this is some gangster shit, right? This is what they got R. Kelly on. They're getting them on RICO charges. There is a group of people who conspired to, to violate laws. And uh, again, it sounds like we got some sort of underage sex trafficking kind of thing going on. Uh, the, the, the story gets way crazier, by the way. And again, these are from the last couple of years. So he is still up. He could definitely go to prison if found guilty for these crimes. Uh, Jones is seeking $30 million. Representatives of Quorum, Grange, Motown, and Love Record. Okay, they didn't respond. Who cares? Representatives for Justin Cohn said in a statement cat, uh, that he categorically denies these absurd allegations. Of course, why wouldn't you deny this? And if it's not true, then shame on fucking uh, uh, Lil Rod, right? Uh, this is a possibility. I'm not saying it's true, but you think about what Diddy has been going through in the last year or so, and he sees that, and maybe he feels like he got he didn't get the right amount of money uh, for his work he did with him, or whatever reason. Uh, and he could just make some shit up and try to get money out of him since all these other people are coming out of the woodworks and suing Diddy. That is a huge possibility. Not huge. I'm sorry. That is a real possibility. But <laughs> given the pattern of abuse, it feels like this is something that might have happened. Of course, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if, he, you know, we don't we'll have to wait and see. I'm not saying he's guilty, but he's guilty as fuck. Uh, <laughs> they are all lies. This is a clear example of a desperate person taking desperate measures in hopes of a payday. Exactly what we were just talking about. The statement said, uh, oh, the statement said, there will be legal consequences for all defamatory statements made about the Combs family. An attorney for Combs and Jones, reckless name dropping about events at, that are pure fiction and simply did not happen is nothing more than transparent attempt to garner headlines, which, again, these are real possibilities, right? Like he could have just made shit up, try to get some headlines, try to, you know, get his name on some other shit. Here's a problem with that, right? For Lil Rod, right? The, the, the person who started all this, this lawsuit, he's a producer and he, you work as a producer, especially in hip hop, you work very, very closely with artists. And he's working with Diddy, who is, a, you know, a very mainstream artist, very recognizable. Him doing this is going to fuck up any chances of working with other producer or with other artists. Because there is sort of this unwritten rule where you whatever happens in the studio or on the tour bus or out on tour stays out in, in the studio or in the in the tour bus or at the party, right? There's this unwritten rule where you don't talk about these things that happen quietly behind closed doors, right? So um, it may tarnish his career, give him a bad name, say he's untrustworthy, Right. So he really is blowing up his own opportunities in the future. Now, I'm not saying that's how it is for every rapper, every person that, you know, every celebrity out there. Obviously, there's probably celebrities out there who'd be like, glad that this motherfucker is taking Diddy down. <laughs> Perfect example is <laughs> it's 
50 Cent, who I absolutely love 50 Cent. Um, he has just gotten so fucking awesome over the last few years. Oh, I'm going to follow him. Uh, 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 let me, he wrote on <laughs> 50, 50 is hilarious. Uh, 50, let's see, 50 Cent. He wrote the other day. It's so funny. Um, uh, he, he posts a lot. Where is it? Where is it? Damn, where is it? Come on, bro. How many fucking things you got to post? Damn. Okay, well, we're not going to sit here and fucking go through all of 50 Cent's posts. But he has been following... Chris, welcome in. Silent L, welcome in. Thank you for being here, my friend. 50 Cent... He is going in on Diddy right now. And in fact, 50 Cent is uh, uh, producing a show called um, In the Line of Surviving R. Kelly, uh, Surviving Diddy. Uh, I think he's he had some other thing that was funny, some other name that was hilarious. But um, man, I wish I could find it right now. Is this it? No, this is the L.A. policy. And by the way, he like comments on, on politics and shit now. <laughs> <laughs> and he's kind of right leaning and he kind of gave like a little endorsement to Donald Trump um which is interesting to me damn it i'm trying to find Ugh, okay well whatever 50 cent wrote the other day that he was on the floor dying when this came out when all this came out with uh with Diddy and this new uh this new accusation and new lawsuit i mean it's only feeding the fire for Fiddy. Like, he's just sitting there, <laughs> just count, counting the money, the future money. He's like, I'm going to make so much money off of you. And there, ha there is a history of beef between 50 Cent and uh, Diddy. So, to me, it's hilarious. I, I, I think it's funny. And I think that Diddy should go to prison if he's found guilty. Like, fuck that, dude. I don't care how much money you had. I don't care if you did discover Biggie Smalls. Your ass can't go around you know, doing whatever you want with underage prostitutes and, and, and banging dudes like who, who are trying to get into the music business and, 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 you know, doing awful things to women. And I mean, there's just a plethora, a list, a long list of accusations against uh, Diddy here. So yeah, he, he, he should go to prison. Uh, if found guilty, of course. We have overwhelming, indisputable proof that his claims are complete lies. Our attempts to share this proof with Mr. Jones's attorney, Tyrone Blackburn, have been ignored as Mr. Blackburn refuses to return our calls. The attorney, Sean Holly, said in a statement, uh, we will address these outlandish allegations in court and take all appropriate action against those who make them. So, uh, obviously, Diddy is out on the prowl with his lawyers fucking, uh, you know, refuting what's going on. The suit is the latest in a series of damning allegations against Combs, which we were talking about. There's tons of allegations that are going on right now currently with Diddy. According to Jones's lawsuit in or about 20, August 2022, Combs called Jones and requested that he produce several songs on the R&B album, The Love Album, Off the Grid, which was released in September 2023 and was nominated for a Grammy. Oh, I thought it won a Grammy. So it was nominated for a Grammy. My bad, y'all. Mr. Jones agreed and his life has been detrimentally impacted ever since, the lawsuit says. Jones's allegations that Combs, Combs sexually harassed and assaulted him while he lived with him at Combs's homes in Florida, Los Angeles, and New York, as well as on, yacht, on a yacht Combs rented in the United U.S. Virgin Islands. Uh, the harassment and assault included constant, unsolicited, and unauthorized groping and touching of his anus. Let's go! <sighs> wow! What's going on? <laughs> he was groping his anus. 
I agree. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not funny. No kind of sexual harassment or rape is funny, uh, but this is just hilarious. <laughs> it's like unauthorized touching. Yes, I agree. My money, money is very gross. Any author, unauthorized touching of a Nate. So first of all, how many times he, he, he said multiple times? What, what was it? He, he, it was constant, unsolicited. How many times does a man have to touch your anus before you're like, hey, bro, I got to go. The fuck's wrong with you? How many times did Diddy uh, caress his anus before homie was, I mean, obviously he completed the job. Did he leave the job early? I don't know. I, I don't, we'll find out, won't we? Whoo! <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> don't touch my butthole, yo. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to tell to walk in. Naders, welcome in on kick. Thank you for being here, my friend. Yes, people are getting their anuses uh, 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 unsolicitedly groped and touched. How does this happen, friends? Is money, is money the driving factor, fame and attention? Is that the driving factor here? Jones says he was forced to work in Combs' bathroom as Combs showered naked in a glass enclosure, according to the lawsuit. I mean, I don't, is the job worth having to watch Diddy shower? Like, do, in the, this is like beyond... This is beyond, uh, 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 you know, sex, right? Like, whatever Diddy's doing here is like, I own you, bitch. You are mine now. Yes! <laughs> Moving Dutchman, Moving Dutchman is like, you can touch my anus for a price. Um, when, <laughs> when he raised concerns about the behavior of decorum, Combs' chief of staff, the lawsuit says she dismissed them as friendly horseplay. Stating that those acts were Mr. Combs' way of showing that he likes you. Oh, thank you, Diddy. <laughs> always in the 